Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm lucky enough to be joined by Lee from TaylorMade who is going to give me a custom fit on the new QI10 product from TaylorMade. I'm going to jump in the bay, I'm looking forward to this, I haven't been fitted for a driver for two or three years now so I'm going to look forward to seeing what you come up with Lee and see if we can get a bit more yardage. Remember, if you like our video guys, please hit that subscribe button and tell all your golfing friends. So Lee, thanks for heading in today. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna have a bit of fun today. We're gonna yep. have, have a bit of fun with the new QI10. So I've hit a few warm up shots already. Okay. So where do we start? We're gonna start with the Max driver. Okay. So the most forgiving driver. The idea behind that being that it's the most forgiving. Um, if we can get you dialed into the right numbers with something that's mega forgiving, it's gonna be easy to take to the course. Come on in, let's, let's get some How many do you want to hit? Have a, have a hit, give me three or four shots with this. See what the numbers are. This is just a, a pretty stock setup to start, um, and then we'll move into some shots. So what are we putting here? You put this is the max head nine degree with what? So we've got the the Diamana uh, T60 stiff in nine degree in the max. As we go through and we're um, and we're hitting these first few shots, I'll start finding out a bit more about your game. So looking at that ball flight goes a little left. Would that be normal for you? Yes, Lee, and if you've watched any of our YouTube videos before, you'll notice that sometimes you'll hear Chris laughing at how far left it goes. <laughs> it's one of the reasons, Lee, we have to do it at the Milne Keynes. It's the widest studio. So this is five meters, the others are four and a half, and a bit side a few times. Oh! horrible so what's the feedback so far on qi10 feedback's been really good so far yeah. so we've got all three models in play on tour already okay um and and this obviously we're we're only in december and how how have you it, has that been quite difficult to switch a player into qi10 uh no it's not been difficult at all guys have really the feedback has been brilliant so far uh, obviously first guys to go into it were rory and tommy out in Dubai for the season close at the DP World Tour. Okay. And then straight away Tiger on his return to Tour. Which was helpful, right? Euro. He needed a bit of exposure. Especially when he bombed his first drive straight down the middle. Roll Tiger, roll Tiger out for a driver launch. I mean, this isn't started very well, Lee, if I'm honest. Fine, I think looking at these numbers so far, we're, we're just seeing a shaft in there that's a little bit too soft. I mean, I will do this because, just for a laugh, Chris, bring up the dispersion. I mean, that cannot any, be anything to do with the driver. No. No. That okay, is... we're all in agreement there. So, let me grab this from you. What we're going to do is we're going to go, we're looking at your ball speed there, your 160, 164 um, ball speed, averagely north of 160. So, we've got club head speed there, we've got speed in there. So we're going to try and get you under control a little bit more by going a little bit stiffer in shaft. What, what shaft do you currently play in your driver? Ten side. Okay. Silver. Yep. X. Okay. So. I mean, you can tell the, the amount of golf that I play Lee, because I really had to think about that. <laughs> I knew it was a black one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into that shaft, still keep you at the same loft, nine degrees. Okay. Um, and see how that performs from there. Something a lot more stable. A little bit lower spinning as well. So when you're fitting this product, you're focusing on the shaft more than the head to start with? What are you? We're, shaft, we're working on head and shaft. Okay. Um, the, that last shaft didn't suit you, so that's why straight away I went into something a little bit more suited. Yeah. From there, we're gonna start trying the, trying the loft options. I mean, noticeably there, that's been your, long, your fastest ball speed. Yep. It's also been still going right. I mean, what I'm going to enjoy with this is that one of the things that you've mentioned to me before is that this driver should help me find more fair ones. Yep. I don't think I've hit one yet. Okay. I mean, it goes... Hanging right. right. It's going really well. Ball speed's really good. You like that? It's good. And for what is a 10K very forgiving driver, we look at that spin number, 
It's, it's not low, outrageously, isn't it? It's not outrageously spinning. So I've always struggled with spin. Yeah. Too high. Always too high. Yeah. Always too high. I was trying to come back, innit? Let's yeah. See. So we look at that 280 carry, 304 total spin, 2180. Wow. From from what is a super high MOI driver, that spin rate's incredible. So really, really apart nice. from the obvious golf lessons and someone that could hit it, how are we getting that ball back? Are we going to get any more out of this? I, I almost think that I'd like to see something that's maybe a little bit more active for you just to... That, that shaft's very stout. So we where are we going? Something, we're just going to go into something that's, um, I think, still keeping it low spin. Yeah. Um, but a little bit more active. I'm going to keep weight a little bit on When the you say side. active, because when we do these videos, it's great, but we obviously work in the industry and we talk a yeah. certain language, and our viewers sometimes will get a bit lost of what active means. What, yeah. what in you expect? So some to? shafts can feel really dead. Yeah, um, and there won't be much movement there. They're what we would class as kind of hard to hard to load. Okay. So we're going to go into something that's still the bright flex that suits you. So we're still an extra stiff. Yes. But something that you're going to find a little easier to load, maybe a little bit smoother, but still keep it low spin. Okay. And so I find that fascinating because I've always, and, and we hear this still now in fittings, and you probably do in your travels as well. Yeah. Is that I'm an X flex. I'm a stiff, I'm a regular, whatever it is. And that's not really our shafts work anymore. No, no, you, it, it, there, there are crossover periods between different shafts and it's where knowledge of fitters is always very, yeah. very important. I mean, this is dreadful. Now when you want a new driver and you just really wish you had a swing that could actually... What's noticeable wow, is... Wow, look at that spin is we've, we've not gone, we, we, we were missing it left. Yes. We've now gone the opposite way. And, and this is the max head right. still. Yeah. So this is the head that's most forgiving. Yeah. Draw bias or not draw bias? The, the weight is more hillside. Okay, because so it's got a hint of draw bias. A little bit of draw bias in there. And it's still not going left. But amazing. Still hasn't been out of the middle either, so that's. Fastest ball speed so far. Well, that's because I found the middle of the face, okay. then. A little bit more spin. So that felt more solid. Of, that, felt more, that felt more solid? Yes. Okay. That felt like I actually enjoyed the head a little bit more, rather than the toe and the low toe that I've been hitting for the last 10 minutes. Yep. I mean... It feels insane. It feels, and I, I'm going to be honest with you, Lee. Didn't like stealth. Okay. Didn't like stealth too. Really got lost in. I don't know what it was. Maybe, and I'm an Arsenal fan, so I should have loved the red. But I really got lost in the feel and the face, and I didn't really like anything. That. Them last two felt yep. completely different. Okay. Even though the face is the same. Yeah. Is that down to the, how it's connected to the head? Down to that leg system, yeah. yeah. It, it's slightly, it just makes a slightly different noise as well than the last two years of carbon. It just feels much more, so, like, like a real hit of a driver. I mean, it's gone way left. So we've it? started to square up a little bit with this now. Um, interestingly, what I did was I, I also went a touch heavier. Um, it, it's, it's got it squaring up. Yeah. Um, but also that the spin rate has changed. So this is where everybody kind of goes, oh, you go heavier, it's going to bring the spin rate down. It's not always the case. So I'm going to grab that from you now. Yep. I'm going to go back to a similar weight to what we tried in that Tensei shaft that you're used to. Okay. But keeping it in that Cali White shaft and seeing what that changes. So we just go that fraction lighter. So we've got so now Cali White that. lighter. So Maybe this has gone from a 70 X. back to the 60s. Yep. It just feels so much better than stealth too. Yeah. So much better. Good numbers on there, solid.
think what I love about this product as well, straight out the gate, is there's no fuss. Yeah. Right, so from the top end there is... There's so we've, we've lost that titanium collar. Yeah, that, I couldn't stand that. that I think we even did a video... tailor-made drivers. Yeah, we did a video, me and Chris, a, a few weeks ago, and it was about... Um, uh, it was our 2023 best drivers, and Stealth 2 was in there. Yeah. Um, but I think I openly admitted that I hated the look of that little collar yeah. that goes around the top. So just, we've lost that clean carbon infinity crown that we've now got. Yeah, it just looks unbelievably good. There she goes. Cool. So I'm going to grab this from you. I'm just going to change head now into the QI10 because we know Max is the most forgiving model. Yeah. All I want to do is because you pro I'd imagine that the driver that you use at the moment is a little bit more traditional in head shape. How did you know? It's not going to be a big oversized head. TSI? 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 Okay. TSI 2? Okay. No, 3. 3. So a little bit more traditional in head shape. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to move all the way down to the LS, but I'm going to move into QI10 okay. to give you that more traditional pear shape look. Why haven't we jumped from Max to LS? I just think it's going to be too big a jump. If this spins too much, we'll go to LS. Okay. So if, it, if it doesn't spin... So we're happy with this shaft? I'm going to keep in this shaft for the moment. Okay. Was that a miss hit? Yeah. Okay. That ball speed's class. Thank Look you very that. much. Do you know what, Lee? We've done a lot of these videos and nobody, you know, Chris has watched me hit driver after driver and not once has he said that was class. <laughs> One, 170.9 ball speed. 284 carry, 312 total. So we just go with that? Should and, we go get head cover? And we look at that, that direction. It's forward, isn't it? Then. We're finding yeah. that one. New driver. <laughs> 171.9. For that. 315. Okay. It's good. It's really good. Thank you. And, and interestingly, and this is where we've seen some of the tour feedback as well, yeah. is it, it comes down to certain players. So everybody's going to be a different calibre of golfer. Yeah. Now, whether we're fitting a pro, whether that be a club pro, tour pro, whether it's a plus golfer, then you start to move into different categories, single figure golfers, team golfers. They're all going to prefer a different head shape and look. Yes. And as much as this oversized head shape, is offering more forgiveness. I feel like where you're so used to looking at a more pear-shaped driver, yeah. you find that easier to square up. Well, proofs in the numbers, right? It's fat hit to and found to. I mean that. That was mega. Those those last three. Last three carry numbers, 284, 294, just shy of 294, and 281. They've been mega. So, and we look at, I, I think that dispersion as well, out of the three that you've hit, three yeah. have been down the middle of the fairway, one has been, yeah, I mean, one has been out awesome. to the right. And so, compared to all that stuff out on the right in the max head. Yeah. I think the max head, where it probably didn't look where it looked right. a little left, yeah. you were blocking it. Yeah, I was protecting it, wasn't I? Yeah. Cool. What was noticeable with that one is you went after that a bit. Yeah, I did, yeah. 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 So it looks like a bit more of an aggressive hit. Yeah. Um, what that, what's noticeable is that is it just did spin a little bit. Yeah. Which is what you would have traditionally seen in the past. So yes. now if I grab that from you, we're going to keep in the same shaft because the numbers are really good. Great. Shaft, shaft feels, feels good, good as well. Yep. Shaft feels really good. Yeah, I've never, like I said, I was in tent side before. I've never had a, uh, I think I've ever played with a Kylie. I might have done years and years ago, the old style ones. Yeah. I haven't played with Kylie for ages. 
comes from the same company, Mitsubishi Chemical. Yeah. I don't know why I went away from it. Both, really. both low spin, just, they just feel differently. So let's have a little hit with our last now. Still, all of these have been the same loft, nine degrees, which I think is fine for you. That's, I really want one. Fastest ball speed. Yeah, just really rubbish. Really. Which is kind of like what we notice when you put that weight at the front. It, it does you lower forgiveness, but you're going to get fast ball speeds. I mean... Have you got a delete button, Chris? Dreadful, wasn't it? That was really bad. That was a bit more like it. That was a bit more like it. One seven ball ball speed. There we go. One seven four. That's good. I still feel like I'm total. trying to, to uh, trying to get this one moving left though. Okay. Would that be? Does this feel a bit harder to work or harder work to use this driver head? Or? Only because I feel like I'm going to block it all the time. Okay. Like I feel like it's going to hang out to the right. Like I'm trying to save it constantly. Yeah. Is there something we can do with that? Is we there... can do that. Yep. just that I just can't quite work it and would you so you're gonna do this through shaft I'm now gonna change I'm not actually gonna move I'm just gonna try the get back to the QI 10 head yes but just go for something that's a little bit lower spinning in shaft okay because for me in terms of accuracy yeah I mean you, you hit it a long way yeah so we're hitting it north of 300 yards yes if you're hitting it north of 300 yards yes my main focus is finding new fairways, not so finding mine, new So is mine. So because this one hit the most fairways, we're going to go with that, but yep. just change the shaft to see if we can optimise the numbers. What's this little beauty? So this is um, in our Acra shaft. So this is oh. it's a little bit more of an exotic shaft. But would it's, I be paying an upcharge in this? You would be, yes. Okay. And would I be paying a lot in upcharge in this? Uh, it would be a noticeable upcharge. Okay. Yes. So now we're getting into some real detail fitting. And I think... Yep. This is going to be, if I like this, Lee, I'm going to be gutted. <laughs> oh my word. Oh my word. Does it hit good or? Really good. Really good. I mean, I hit it off the bottom, but it felt good. It felt good. Felt really solid. Like ridiculously solid. Yeah. Like ridiculously solid. That mega. Again, it's not. We're we're in our um, our middle head option to so our mid spinning head option. Yeah, and the spins. And it's not spinning too up. It's the spins good because I think for you, because your shot can go left a little. I don't mind seeing two three spin. It's arguably higher than perfect, but it's safe. Very safe. What is perfect then? Ideally, I, I tend to look at 2-2, two, two, but it okay. differs from player to player. Not for that. Okay. Oh. There's your 2-2 two, two, though, just can't find that one. Right, come on. Oh, man, it feels so good. Yeah, again, ball speed's good. It's not ballooning, just didn't quite get that face squared up. Feels so good off the face, that. And it does, I mean, this is clearly me, right? Let's, let's not be dark, but the, yeah. the control on this face and the kind of feel of this face is insane. Obviously, my direction is horrendous and my ability is shocking, but at least I can hit it hard. Solid. Really solid. Again. So is that north of three hundred? So in your mind, I mean, that felt good. I mean, I've, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm running spin. on empty a little bit. 
So one of the things that I noticed there just sounded a little bit bottomy, the strike. Yes. That's, I think, why it's ballooned up a little bit. I mean, I'm still looking at the numbers. I'm still looking at the blue colour on dispersion and liking it. Yeah, I am. Um, and that's this, isn't it? This is this combo. That's this head, yes. Really good. The thing I'm noticing with this head is, this shaft, is it's, it's giving you the ability to hit it that little bit harder. Yeah, it really is. Um, so and I notice when you hit it harder, it does turn over a little more. So now what I'm gonna do is grab this from you. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use the, the loft sleeve here. Yes. And then we can use that to dial in that face angle. Okay. Because when we lower the loft sleeve, yes. it will open, it will move the face over. So you're going, so we're going lower in loft here? So we're gonna go one click lower. So yep. that brings that down from nine to 8.25. Yep. But whatever you move in loft, yes. double that and it changes face angle. So we're one so and a half, half degrees open. One and a half open. Which I think for you is just going to help get that like a little bit with, the, with this shaft, this combo. Yep. Oh my word. I mean, that has gone against every shot I've just hit. Yep. But it felt great. Yep. Let's come on, let's try and swing one a bit. There we go. So that's your one that turns. But it started, so a, bit it started a bit further right. It's still found left half of fairway there. Yeah, amazing. That feels really good. And we're at good numbers in spin, good ball speed. Bit too open, a little bit too open. Well, I think I think that's just more of a little bit of a, Me. a little bit of a block. Yeah, yeah. That, it's one of the things sometimes that it's it's something that we know as as fitters, that the golfer can be can put a bad swing on it every now and then. As the tour guys, again, that's your one that turns. You can see that that loft sleeve settings just started it. A little yeah, bit I like that. Long. I like the fact that I don't feel like I'm. I feel like the club face is doing that. Yeah and start that right rather than me protecting against the left shot, if that yep. makes sense. Yeah. See, I, I think looking at this, I like this head, I like this shaft combination, yeah, I because you've got a very stable, strong shaft. Yep. The head, I feel as though LS was, LS was great, yeah, but if you were playing golf very, very regularly, yeah, and you yeah, hit well, balls all the time, it's great. You yeah. could dial in LS, yeah. and you'd get your maximum from it. However, this is a head that still offers some forgiveness, so it just gives you that little bit of a safety blanket. Really good flight. That's it. Really, really good. That setup, I, I like that for you. Um, so we're at nine degree head in QI10. Yep. One so we're slower, happy with this. I'm happy okay, with that. Okay, so go and talk me through the spec. So we're nine degrees QI10. One click lower in loft sleeve. 8.25. So 8.25 sits slightly open. Okay. We've, we've ended up in the Acra um, TZ5 shaft, which, as we said, is an upcharge. Now, we're fine with that. The good thing was, we also did find a shaft that worked that wasn't yeah, six up charge. Oh, yeah. So it depends on what position you're in. Um, there was also a shaft in there that wasn't an up charge that worked very, very well. We're in a position where we're looking for ultimate performance. Yeah, we're just going, to just fit me up. All out, yeah, that's yeah. ultimate performance. Um, however, there was something that was still very, very good as a non up charge. Excellent. Um, in the standard length, I think standard length worked fine. You was fine in the middle of the yep, face in yep. it. So standard length absolutely fine. We can maximise that distance for you with maximising that centred strike. Um, the last thing that we would then look at is what grip size and type you play. Yes. So I am a standard multi-com... Uh, no, I'm not. That's a complete lie. I'm a tall velvet cord. Yep. With two layers of tape. Okay. 
and that's something that you've used for a long time? Yeah, so if I've done the measurements and, and you do the measures for your, your wrist to the floor, I've always been measured as jumbo or mid-size, depending yeah. on the style of grip, but I hate them. Yeah. Ever since I was a kid, ever since I've played, it's always been too late to take under a, a mop, some yeah. sort of plain grip. So yeah, tall velvet cord is where I would and sit. It, and that, that is, for me, if, we're, if we have somebody come to us, they've not played golf for a long time, then yes, we can fit to what will perfectly fit their hand. However, you're a good golfer. If you know what you like, I'm, I'm more likely to go down that line. What I like the feel of. And it's so the good. one part of you that touches the golf club. Yeah. So we want that to feel comfortable. I'm, I'm exact, I, I actually wear a small glove. Okay. And I have three extra layers under my grip. It's just what you like the feel it's of. Just what you like the feel of. Okay. And that, that's where I would tend to stick. If something's massively big that we're, we're going to affect full flight, then we might move away. But I think for you, we'll go down the line of comfort. Perfect. Thank you very much, Lee. Awesome. Absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. I'm going to take my driver and see if I can sneak this one out the back door. Guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Big thanks to Lee from TaylorMade for joining us today, fitting me up for my new QI10 driver. Please, if, if there's any questions you have, put them in the comments below. We can get them to Lee. You can answer any technical questions. It's been a really fast, I think the product this year is going to do really, really well. It's always a good product from Tony but this is a really interesting product that they've brought out this year. Remember, if you like our videos, please hit that subscribe button and tell all your golfing friends.